What if the way we've been taught to color grade was all wrong and a crucial piece to the puzzle is missing? What if this is the number one reason for muddy looking video and what if you could avoid this altogether and grade three times faster? In this video, you'll discover how to do this. Getting muddy looking video is no bueno. And this is especially frustrating after you've uploaded your video and it doesn't quite look as professional as you'd like it to. The shots don't match and you don't get the kind of feedback you're looking for. So how do you know if you're doing it right and how do you give your shots a consistent look even when a look is applied. You see, the real problem and what most people don't realize is there's not a consistent pattern or approach to grading with tools like Lumetri. They weren't designed with any kind of workflow in mind and this causes users to stumble and chase their tells with their own crafted workflows. Well, what if there was a way you could be guided step by step? What if you could fix shots match shots together with easy batch processing and apply a final cohesive look to a project or scene. With this plugin, you're not left on your own and you're gonna see how this works so you can get a clean, professional look three times faster. So let's take a look at a common scenario. You have that one irresistible shot so you immediately jump in and start grading it. You add a LUT, but then later come to find out that the other clips don't match even when the same LUT is applied. So here's what to do instead. Here I have a shot that I like, and I'm gonna perform a base correction on it using the easy point and click grading. The tools are even lined out in the order that you should use them. If you wanna see how grading in the viewer is like painting or sketching, check out the previous video where we explore that topic. I'll include a link for it in the card. Once I'm satisfied with the correction, we'll then jump to the shot matching page. To save time, we'll group similar shots together, designating our first shot as the hero shot. And then when we click the Match Shots button, we have the option to copy the same correction to the other shots in the group as a batch. This saves so much time as this is faster than copying and pasting effects in Premiere as you're able to cycle through the different shots quickly and match them in the intuitive side-by-side -side viewer. Scopes are also shown in the side-by-side -side viewer with the hero scope on the left and the shot we're matching to on the right. You can even turn on the false color feature and compare the exposure visually that way. Isn't that awesome? Some of these shots appear warmer and darker, so we'll match them with the temperature tool by clicking and dragging down. Then with the selective exposure tool, we'll match the brightness of the skin by clicking on it and dragging up. We'll repeat the process for the other shots. and time. Once matched, we can jump to the final grading page and add a look on top of the group. And this is where the magic begins to happen. I like the tetrachrome look, so I'll go with it. The magic here is that the final look gets applied to all the clips that we grouped together. Even if we make further changes to the look, all the clips get updated. Why this works so well, besides saving tons of time, is that the shots still match even when the look is applied. But even if we do need to match them better, we can jump back to the shot matching page, toggle the viewing mode to show the clips with the look applied, and match them better. When we're finished, we just click apply and our grade is applied back inside of Premiere. What do you think? Isn't this awesome? Instead of not having a plan or having to come up with a piecemeal approach in Premiere, with the Cinema Grade plugin, you're guided every step of the way so there's no guesswork. If this is something you want to use on your next project on Windows, give the video a like and leave a comment telling us that you'd like to find out more and we'll reply when you can get your hands on it. Now you might be wondering if this will work for you and if this is as easy as what I've just demonstrated. Well, I think you'll find that most people find it easy to use straight out of the box, but we also have a popular color training specific to CinemaGrade. It has over 190 positive reviews, so you can feel confident with this as a complete end-to-end -end solution for better looking video. We're getting closer to bringing this to you on Windows and we haven't even fully explored the final grading page yet. We'll cover that in the next video where you'll see how easy it is to get a high-end, expensive look in just seconds. I'll see you in the next video.